Hello fellow teammates and welcome back to the IN team. And if you're new, thanks for joining. Today we'll be going over the new service carbine rifle, mile after the M16. This weapon was recently drift fed into the game with the Criminal Enterprises DLC. This was one of the most anticipated weapons to ever enter GTA Online, mainly due to its use in imagery throughout the years. Now this rifle was released into the game as a free item. However, you will have to work a little bit to attain it. And you'll want to do this now, because it doesn't look like this weapon will be free for long. And we'll get into what we mean by that and what you'll need to do to grab one of these service carbines if or when that change happens later on in the video. But if you're trying to take advantage of this weapon's free release, here's what you need to do. You have to collect the components of the gun, five in total, from a new random spawning event called Crime Scenes. There are 10 locations that these crime scenes spawn in and they are scattered around Los Santos and Blaine County. There are six in Los Santos and four in Blaine County. Here's their position on the map. They're marked by the point of interest icon. And to save you some time, we've added a close-up of each location. And as you can see, they're spread out across the map, so you'll be doing a decent amount of traveling to collect these components. And you should try to set these locations to memory, because you'll be visiting them a lot. When you come across one of these crime scenes, you'll see a blue dot pop up on your radar and map. There'll be two police officers investigating the scene. You want to quickly take them out and search the area for a piece of evidence, which will be a component of a service carbine. These pieces are small, so if you're having a hard time locating them, search around the chalk outlines and you should see a collection prompt pop up on the left corner of your screen. And you will receive a 3 star wanted level as soon as you engage with the officers. So you want to try to find these components as soon as possible. And you will receive $5,000 and 2,000 rep points for each component you collect. And you'll get a bonus 50 grand after collecting all 5 parts, which totals out to $75,000 and 10,000 rep points just for finding this weapon. And you'll automatically get this weapon. You don't have to go to ammunition or your agency or anything to pick it up. It's added straight to your weapon wheel. And you see here our active weapon was automatically replaced. So you get paid to find it, get rep points, it's free, and you don't have to go anywhere to pick it up after it's unlocked. Now the bad side of this is that it's going to take you at least two and a half hours to get this weapon. And that is in real time. It takes about 30 minutes for the crime scene to spawn, and once you collect the component, the clock starts over. These crime scenes are designed like the other random events in the game, meaning you'll need to be in a lobby for at least 20 to 30 minutes before they start appearing. So don't waste your time searching any of the locations before that time. Nothing will appear. And apparently you can use any lobby for the search, but for us, we are only able to get them to spawn in a closed friend session. And like we said, after you collect one component, it will take at least 30 minutes for another crime scene to appear. While searching for these, we noticed that the time frame solely depends on if the game is working correctly. We had an instance where it took over an hour for another crime scene to spawn in, and that was after switching to a new lobby. To force a spawn every 30 minutes, what we did was completely exit the game after collecting a component, then open it back up and log into a fresh lobby. For us, that system reboot seemed to clear any hangups. Every crime scene spawned in 30 minute intervals after doing that. We found it easiest to mark each possible spawn location as a point of interest after entering a lobby. After 30 minutes had passed, we grab a presser or helicopter and begin our search. To save time, we stuck to searching the six locations in the city, and we just rotated through these six locations until a crime scene spawned in. A crime scene could spawn at any of these locations, and they can repeat, so don't skip searching a location because you already found one there. We actually had three of ours spawn in the same spot. And the blue dots are also used for other random events such as exotic exports, drug deals, movie props, and smuggler planes. These events will spawn in as well. We use these appearances as a gauge and meant the game is working properly and that a crime scene will spawn in soon. Engaging and completing some of these events may also help the crime scenes to appear. Here you see us engaging with the first blue dot to spawn into our session, a drug deal. And before we could deliver the vehicle, a crime scene spawned into our lobby. And in case you are wondering, more than one blue dot can be on your map at a time. Here we had exotic export and a few blocks down was our crime scene. And remember, you'll need to stay in the lobby for 30 consecutive minutes, so don't do any activities that will take you out of the lobby. And to shorten your search, you'll want to stay as close to the spawn locations as possible. For example, we filled most of our time completing payphone hits, sourcing crates, and completing mixed goods sales. Mixed goods sales are always delivered to the docks, which is right next to this payphone and crime scene location. And make sure you retire from being a CEO or MC president before you begin searching for the crime scenes. Getting a call for a random activity or raid will interrupt the event and make you unable to search or pick up anything at the crime scene until it's resolved. 
Now, there's not a Mod 2 variation of this weapon, but it still has a decent amount of customization. And this is a really awesome rifle. It has a close grouping, quick reload, and it sounds incredible. Staying true to its real counterpart, the M16. It's one of the best sounding rifles in the game, in our opinion. And that's of course without the suppressor. Adding a suppressor will reduce that sound, so keep that in mind. Now, you may have noticed that the opening screen to the game stated that this weapon is for a limited time. We believe this is only for getting it for free from the search. Rockstar is really keeping this one under wraps. It doesn't seem to be a lot of information on this, but a few sources close to the game's development have stated that the service carbine will be available for purchase at a later date. Pricing hasn't been confirmed, but you can expect it to be around three or four hundred thousand dollars. So, if you can't or don't have time to locate all the pieces, or just don't feel like going on a treasure hunt, you'll still be able to pick up this weapon. Now let us know your thoughts on the service carbine. Do you like this weapon being obtainable in a treasure hunt like event, or do you feel it's just a big hassle? How long did it take you to find all the components? Are you going to look for them, or just pick it up when it's available for purchase? And did you know it was going to be available for purchase? Let us know in the comments. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time, teammates.